Good morning. Just finished a COA on this lovely H cuff alto saxophone. Um, I'll give you a play test in just a second. But um, I had uh, the tenor version of this horn, a little later version. Um, this, I think, was the client said it was from the 70s. Um, and this is the, per, the, the, the forerunner of the modern Kyleworth. If you look and see, it's got like not lots of space in that bow, that bottom bow. That's a that's one of the design characteristics of this. It's got this is an interesting horn. It has some interesting features in it. Um, I'm this thumb ring. I was this. I always like that. The but the belt of body brace. I always like. It was very it's very comfortable to put your hand in. Um, which I know it's not its primary function, but um, it's got some interesting design things like the B flat is a rod. The C is pivot screws, and the F, the forked F, has that this little thing here. We can get around it with one hand. Er, um, so the F sharp is the, uh, the lever, kind of like a, the the old uh, like the old cons. And the F sharp, the high F sharp, has this lever right near it, which is kind of cool. So it does have high F sharp. And uh, like the B flat has a hinge rod, while the side C has pivot screws. Interesting. This um, the pinky cluster is interesting. Works very well. But actually, the B and the B flat are on the same rod. Interesting. It's, it has a big fat tone. And uh, if you want to get something that's similar to this, you can get a Kyleworth. Um, I don't know if Kyleworths have rolled tone holes, but this one does. So let me turn this around and give you a little test of this horn. I'm using my uh, mouthpiece, which is a Theowani, uh New York Brothers, NY Brothers 7. Each cuff, a good value, a good horn. All right? Thanks for watching.